Now our uniquely Detroit story is about one Detroiter who has left a lasting legacy on the music industry. That's right, and many call him one of the best producers ever, including a member from The Roots from The Tonight Show. He worked with him a lot. So yeah. this week, photographer Alex Atwell shows us why Jay Dilla is uniquely Detroit. Check it out. It's a man. You know how Detroit do, man. When we come in, we take over stuff. JD, J Dilla. Whenever the universe made J Dilla, at that point it decided to make his own frequency. Dilla, man, he was like a mad scientist. The best that ever did it, man. That's all I can say, my idol, man. He was dangerous. He was like a triple threat. Every chamber, man, he mastered it. DJ, producer, MC. How did Detroit kind of help shape his sound? We all grew up, you know, here in the city. I mean, we was influenced by, by techno. Detroit hip hop is a mixture of all different kind of sounds. You got the techno, the soul music, the diversity of the music that came from here. And, you know, what else would we expect from Motown's grandchildren? I mean, you was dope if you was perfecting you. It was embedded in it. It's in our DNA. We inherited it. So with us coming from that, you know, we had a standard to uphold. And, you know, we did. What set him apart or what made him unique? He's the producer's producer. He was doing stuff that, like I said, nobody could figure out how he was doing it. So it's like when you're in when you're in, in music or in the music industry and you want to stay ahead of the game or ahead of the curve, you got to go where the best at. And at the beginning, it was the claps, you know what I mean? It was just some, just some, hard, some hard snare, just cracking snares, just that bounce, it's just that, that Dilla bounce. And, you know, when you heard that bounce, you know, you couldn't confuse that with nobody. The low on his bass lines, it was like you had never heard it before. It's, when you hear it, when you, and you just heard him just, not just taking it, play it, he would play it, chop it up, replay it, and like I said, you got a whole new sound. It was like, it was always him reinventing these new sounds and these, these new patterns. So, I mean, that's what just made him uh, one of a kind and, and, and un, un, unable to copy. It was way ahead of his time. Yeah, he, he kind of reinvented the wheel when it came to production. He had all the stuff behind at his house, so it's like you couldn't really see what he was doing. But he'll go, he'll go back there, he'll had the headphones on, take the headphones off, hit the button. Wow! You're like, wow! It, it, ten minutes? Come on! What made him so good or so different? Dedication. He lived and breathed, ate and slept music. Even to his last days, he was in a hospital bed fighting for his life with still doing beats. Lupus, man. Lupus is... Uh, it ran, it ran in his family. He held on as long as he can, kept doing his music, kept doing what he loved, all the way to the end. We've had some amazing musical talent come out of the city. Where does he rank? Man, he definitely ranked up with, with all the greats. I still haven't heard anything like it. When he came sonically, man, he reinvented the wheel. Blessed to be in the presence of that. It's him just coming into our lives and showing us how to be original and being on your own channel and doing your own thing, eternally in his debt, man. Really the greatest when he was alive, he's still the greatest in death. You got people still trying to figure out his formula to this day, which I, I feel like they never will. He will be remembered as the Michelangelo or the Picasso of, of hip hop. And that's what they'll call him. They say, hey, Dilla, he was the real deal. Joining us live now, DJ Butter, Ronnie Reagan, and Ron Ronnie Euro. Good to see you guys this yeah, morning. Well, You've got to show us the underside, the bill of your hat. Uh, yeah, caught so, a little glimpse of that yeah, cap. Yes, it's Dilla, nice. there it Dilla is right, right up under there. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Official so, Jay Dilla merchandise. Go get it. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, in the piece, the last kind of word was nobody could ever duplicate what he did. But he was like a genius. Yeah. I think that we're right. overlooking that. It's not like you can go and figure out the formula, right? Right, right, right. 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 Exactly. Right. So... For people who don't know, why don't you tell us some of the people who Jay Dilla did work with? Uh, 
a lot of people um, from the roots to Erica Badu, mm -hmm. Janet Jackson, mm -hmm. Buster yeah. Rhymes, Tribe Called Quest. Uh, Common. Common. Yeah. Space right. Cameo. Yeah. Space, yeah. I mean, yeah. the list goes on. Right. right. But let's talk about this. Like, when you see how he worked with people, I felt like once he, his production kind of took it to another level, and then they were able to go hardcore mainstream. I mean, Common just won an Oscar. Yeah. Right. right? Do, do you guys feel like you noticed that, too, in his career? Definitely, in his definitely. Right. He had something special with the drum machine that nobody else was doing. You know, mm -hmm. he just... I guess he, he knew the ins and outs of the drum machine different than a lot of producers. Mm. So, and that reflected in his music. You know, a lot of people can't really duplicate what he do. So what's going on now? You just got back from Europe, Ron. And you yes. said that this is, you've been touring there for how long? It, it, uh, went, it went huge there. Yeah, right? since 1998. My yeah. first time wow. ever being on a plane was headed wow. to Paris. Wow. Uh, <laughs> opening up for D'Angelo, actually. Yeah. Nice. And um, yeah, I just got back last night from London. We had a Dilly event in uh, London that was sold out, and um, yeah, we've just yeah. been doing it. That's wow. cool. Wow, so there's a Dilla event this weekend here, yes, and yeah. in Paris too, right? Yeah. Uh, Tell us about that it. That was a few days ago, actually. Okay. Paris, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the event here is, uh, you can check us out at Dillatroy.com. It's, okay. it's at Burst on Broadway. Um, it's, it's starring my man Fat Cat right here, nice. Ronnie, Ronnie Euro, Guilty Simpson, Fi Ella. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, just a lot of guys we grew up with. It's mm -hmm. more of an intimate setting, you know. Dilla's real friends, you know, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's what we capture, and Gans is the host. So. Yeah, and what does that mean? We've talked about him as a producer. You say a friend. What, is, what was he like as yeah. a friend? It's a regular guy. Yeah, a very funny guy, man. Yeah. He, we had a lot of a lot of inside jokes. I mean, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we had a lot of inside jokes. Yeah. He's a, a, a very funny Shy, guy. You know, just, was he? Yeah, just kind of. He was in his own little way. He just. Uh -huh. He was a, well, you know, he's he an was alien in his own though. little, yeah, his yeah. own little way. But know? as an artist to work near him or next to him, was he a giving guy? I mean, was he, uh, when you say he was his, his own little world, what does that mean? Uh, he's very, he's very giving. I, yeah. I remember times I worked with him, he's, he's always kind of catered to, to what you were doing. Uh -huh. he, uh, mm -hmm. He would look, he, he would say, actually, the first time I actually worked with him, he said, hey, man, relax, relax, mm. you got this, man. So you he was teaching, too. Yeah, he right. said, hey, you wouldn't right. be here if I didn't think you had what it takes. Right. So. Great. That's yeah. great. So he really did like donuts? Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I had to know. It was always donuts in the, it was always okay. donuts in his, the studio. His uncle Herm, um, he, he has a donut shop, and, and a tribute to him is called Dilla Delight. So okay. his uncle Herm used to bring donuts a lot to him nice. as a kid. Yeah. So. All right, and one more time, a uh, little shout out for the event. When is it coming? Yeah, Dillatroit.com. Um, it's this Friday, Burst on Broadway. Okay. Starring Fat Cat, Guilty Simpson, Fi Ella. Miss Yancey is, be, is in the house, so nice. it's going to be a real nice event. Well, good to see you guys. Yeah. Thanks for yeah. stepping yeah. off a plane and getting in here this morning. Good to meet you. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you.